that I'm standing here with the person responsible for the success of chess in Norway. Kaya, what did you do? Well, I would hardly say I'm the person responsible for the success of chess in Norway. That would be Magnus Carlsen. But I've been here covering the Tata Steel uh, chess and it's been uh, really fun. We are a country with five million people and we have the world champion in chess, so obviously that's very big. And everyone wants to play chess now, everyone wants to watch chess, so it's uh, really fun to have the coverage. Um, well, Magnus started to become really popular in TV and headlines around when he became number one in the world, I guess, so around five years ago. For the World Championship, of course, there were a lot of people watching. People are staying home from work, staying home from school, just to, just to watch his games. Um, for this tournament as well, it's been a very, very, very good. Uh, tons of people are watching it, tons of people love following it. We have it both online and on television. Well, I think he's really annoyed with me sometimes, because I'm always there with the microphone, even if he loses and in, if he's a bad, in a bad mood. Uh, but I think he also likes that we're, you know, covering him and following him and, and that he's a big star in Norway and, and that people really, really like to follow his games. Okay. Will you continue to travel uh, with your cameraman with Magnus? I hope so. It depends if the, the TV station I work for will let me uh, and if Magnus keeps playing well. But it looks like he will keep playing well, follow him. So, uh, well, crossing my fingers. Thank you very much and see you next year. See you here next year. I hope so. Hope so. Yes.